Hi everybody and welcome back to the Mad Rush channel. Uh, thank you for joining the channel. Now listen, a, a lot of requests, uh, a lot of people have asked me, could you play a few more car games? Um, I did do a couple of car games back uh, with the VR um, and I wouldn't mind, I, I actually love car games so I don't know why I haven't done it more oftener. Uh, I played all the Forzas, I played it on the Xbox and recently on the PC. I have had Forza 4 which is an amazing looking game but um, I had this steering wheel I also the Logitech G29 and basically it's the this game is fantastic with the controller because it's been designed with the controller in mind for the Xbox and it's an amazing experience with the controller and anybody wants to play this game on the Xbox or on PC with the controller it's just fantastic but with the steering wheel it takes it to the next level and the reason I have the steering wheel is because I play V Rally and a few other games in VR and having the steering wheel, the shifter, the pedals is just phenomenal. It's just the immersion is just surreal. However, setting it up on Forza is an absolute nightmare. Now it was really impossible when it first came out, hence the reason I haven't really played the game much. Uh, but lately it has had a few more uh, updates and I have think I've got it set up now that it's to my liking. Um, some people believe you might ask me for settings or whatever, I might do another video on that. But the problem with the settings is, is that you could use them as default but everyone's style of driving is different. Now, I have it, I wanted to drift, so normal driving it's fine this, but for drifting it was just like, uh, it was really hard because the force feedback and everything trying to pull it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here now, I, I've set up this car, the Mustang, this is the 1968 flashback, uh, basically love this car, I made it look like the car out of um, Gone in 60 Seconds, Eleanor. So. Uh, I think I've set it up, uh, it's twin turbo on it, and because it's snowing obviously, uh, it's unfortunate because I want to drift, and snowing uh, and drifting is not, it's not easy, but uh, obviously I have to stick with the season that's, co that's come out at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the video, I'm going to try and show you what she's like to drift and what she's like to drive and she's just a beautiful car so I'm going to stop talking I'm going to drive the car to the destination so if we just get into the car uh, before we're going anywhere what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two areas on the map if you have Forza that I like to learn to drift and now I've been practicing to drift there's an area up here where you can see there's a car park next to this skull you see it's like a figure eight there and uh, basically uh, if you can go in there and you can you you can do a lot of drifting there but it's snowing at the moment it's just like a car park and um, so with the snow it could be quite heavy and then here's this other spot which is the express railway which is near the speed champion lego uh, and basically this is like a railway site but it has containers and you can and then it has an indoor section where you can freely drift around without the weather bothering you too much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drive to this location see Eleanor in action Turn around when it is safe to in do the snow so. and then uh, when we get there with this big cross we can do a bit of drifting so here we go hear that turbo huh? <laughs> Very high rev and low gear, and I need a low gear for drifting, so she is a bit noisy, but uh, it's a good noise. It's just that she wants me to change gear pretty quick. And with the snow, I like to try and keep the gears down as low as possible for drifting around the bends, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on.
course, I always like going to cockpit view. Not everybody does cockpit view. I, I, I love all car games. When I play car games, I try to cockpit view. Used to love Need for Speed, but they got rid of the cockpit view, and uh, I got so disappointed with that that um, I stopped playing them after a while. Drift, you can feel the force feedback on it. See, it's drifting in the snow. Once she goes off the road there and she hits the heavy snow, see, once you hit the heavy snow, it's very hard. doing these high reps on the gears. <laughs> I'd be ruining the engine, but it's a computer game, so I'm not worried about the car engine. But no wear and tear. But I have it set up this way, you'll see why when I'm drifting. Oh, come on! Inside the car, as opposed to outside, it's completely different. Right? You get the feel, the size of the car, you feel it, understand it more. So, see, when I'm drifting, I know it better. When I'm outside, it feels weird for me because I feel like I'm controlling a remote control car, which is it's all right to show you the game, but I just love playing in cockpit mode. Turn left. See, even when I trip, you see, inside the road, it's just so much easier for me. I feel like I'm in the car. I keep it in low gear all the time, and I know you're the world probably going, he's in the red all the time, but. It's with the snow and the grip. This car, I'm just trying to keep it. In 400 meters, turn but I have more control of it in lower gears when it comes to drifting. Right, so here we go. Turn Getting right. into a bit of heavy snow here. Alright, look at this. Can't even see the road. Turn right. It's night time as well. It's up here. This is where I want to go. I'll play, I'm not interested, so... So, this is where I like to drift, so... <laughs> They're all going mad. So, let's go outside so you can see it. Let's 
seat with the Wii. I managed to get it set up that if she drifts. I'm gonna keep it in that low gear with that high red count. You can see it hitting the red needle. Okay, so, as you can see, beautiful car, sounds great, she can drift, but with the wheel, you see I'm fighting it here, and you can see me here now, hitting handbrakes, touch tapping the brake, sometimes I, I'm, I'm hitting the clutch, popping the clutch just to get a bit of rev count, but with this car, I set it that uh, has high rev count as you can see when I was driving up here. 
that I don't have to pop that clutch if I can help it, because I've just got way too much as it is to do with this character. She's so heavy. Because when the back hook kicks out, it's just hard to stop the spin. And with a wheel, it's just fighting me all the time. I can feel a muscle on my right shoulder here just tensing up because I'm constantly spinning. As you can see, if you come to the game, this is a great spot if you just get rid of all them posts and practice here. In and out. You can even go out a trip. Yeah. I've tripped around on the outside parts. There's a container section as well I'm going to show you at the back here, which is the problem the moment is, I don't really want to go and say it's because of the snow, it's just too hard. I mean, I can do it, but it's just too hard. going to spin it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you, hang on, hang on, go back outside for a minute and see if I can trip there a bit better. See, from the outside point of view, you can't see the front wheel, so... You can control it a wee bit better. give you a demonstration that was with this now here's with the controller completely different wait till you see okay To the car, I can turn and go. Steer wheel is very hard to get that because you're literally spinning your arm around to get that 
motioned out that the front car is doing. That's why I, when I was in inside view showing you the front bonnet of the car, you can see it slide, but to do it, the, I'm spinning it and holding that rev cam in the red. Side now. Different button on the controller. And let's. Back with the wheel again. See that? I just had to. Completely different. Still fun, it's just a lot more skill with the wheel. A lot more setup and a lot more effort. Now, some people modify their wheels with bigger wheels, so I think if I had a bigger wheel because of the stock wheel with this it's quite small but by the bigger wheel I could probably spin it a lot more plus I need a handbrake so the handbrake I have I set it to one of these paddles but it's hard to tell where the paddle is I only set it to one paddle which is this one here so obviously when I spin in the wheel I'm not sure because this one this one here does nothing pressing the button is hard so when I'm spinning the wheel and trying to touch the handbrake it depends on what side it's on so I'm hitting the handbrake there you see But 
I'm enjoying this car. I've done quite a bit of setup with it. I think I could do it a little bit more at the back because she, she's got a, a heavy backside. She spins out a lot more. So I need to try and compensate for that. And then with the snow and the ice, it doesn't help. This is not easy in the snow, but this is a lot of fun when it's not snowing. Uh, so, as you can see, there's the rail train going past. So, you can spin in and out of these containers. Which, easier said than done. Oh! That's the only thing about playing in offline mode. I get all the AI cars, they just to drive around and cause havoc. Obviously this is water and uh, this pool to the left there normally but then it's, it's in, the, in the winter season it's frozen and uh, it's like ice basically and it's just crazy slide on it now. find just how easy it is. Until the other seasons come on, I think next week or whatever, I have to keep carrying on with the snow. But what I'll do is definitely do another video without the snow. And you can see that it's much better. In fact, let me just show you something now. Uh, I'll throw it with the controller first one more time and you see the difference. I think it's good for people to see the difference between the wheel and the controller. I think people think, ah, oh, the controller isn't as much fun. It really is just as much fun. Control with the controller is fantastic. I'm just laying along this ice and snow, but... And you get your friends and when you're in here with a whole load of people and we're all skidding around and have so much fun in this area. This is a great spot. She hit that, that snow there and she just slips.
So, before we go, I'm going to show you a different car. Give you an idea of what drifting is like. I have a more modern... Here we go, all these cars. What have we got? There is these drift cars which are amazing. I'll do a video on them. This one here is the Ford Mustang. And it's the drift car as well. Uh, so, going from the 1968 up to now. See the backside of this thing come out. Look at it. That snow is just wheel spins. Look how much fun this is to slide around. You can hear the snow going up into the back of the car, but look at that, it's just slipping away. back up to to the indoor area out of the snow and I'll show you this bad boy now before we finish the video now this is drifting look at this Red and white. So you see, this is what I want to be able to do <laughs> with the 68 Mustang. I just have to play around with the settings a bit more. But as you can see, like, look at that front nose go. So. different size car, it's a really big car of a Mustang, it has to be said, like, she obviously sticks out quite a bit from the back. She's a big, powerful car. This car vibrating, you see it? There it is, just drip, 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 drip. Like I could change into four gear, but I find I lose the power. I like just to keep it in low gear at a high rev. Obviously, if you're a real car, you'd be wrecking your engine and having it this high up with the rev count. But the wheel and then we'll finish it off so oh <laughs> it's so much different you just feel like kick and pull on so the way she with the acceleration she just jumped in and look at that you see the controller it was just one nice steady flow with the wheel it's just force feedback and it's back and forth back and forth 
which would be like in a rear car. And then obviously with the accelerator, you're using an actual pedal. And it's... Go again. muscles in my arm there just to get it around and it's, it's like pulling up so you can see the wheel it's moving but it's so much fun when you get it right <laughs> look at it you just like you just can't help but smile and you feel like you're really driving the car And you're seeing the passenger side door looking at you. It is she looking at the passenger side window. <laughs> mm. Yeah, see, that's the only thing with inside view is that you have to learn the size of the car, well, especially when you're trying to fit through a gap like that how far she sticks out and whether you'll make it past that wall and then also to know when she's turned too far because when you're outside mode you can see the car and you can see the front wheels and you're inside the car you're just feeling it you're using the wheel and then I can't really look out the side windows because like if I was in a real car you'd be able to look left and right for a my vision is kind of obscured as well, but it's still like so immersive. Like if this was in VR, I'd love it. I love it anyway. Like I'm, playing, I'm playing this on a 27-inch monitor, high-resolution HDR. So you're seeing it at 60 frames per second. I'm seeing it at a bit like 120. Ultra settings, extreme settings in some areas, with reflections and everything. So, but well, there you go, peep. I hope you enjoyed my little video. Uh, it's just a start. I'm just basically getting to grips with the camera. I have two cameras now so what I'll do is, is I don't think you're really worried about seeing my face but you know some people like to see the wheel in action wondering whether to invest in it or not like if you're playing Forza and you like the controller then you know it's it's amazing game with the wheel obviously it's fantastic um, but it's it's a lot of setup uh, and then I, I, like I I'm still tweaking with it. There isn't a day goes by where I'm not tweaking it. But I pretty much have it near enough to what I want. But like that's that's weeks upon weeks of practicing. So um, let me know what you think. Put put it in the comments whether you want to know my sentence for the wheel. I'll, if you do, I'll do a video on it. And then hopefully I might have it tweaked a wee bit more by then. And then I'm going to go into a few other cars that I have, do a few more things. I have a Need for Speed Payback coming out, a video of it because Need for Speed Heat's coming out soon. So I have a couple of videos on that. I've been playing Payback and it's good. I like it. Uh, it's a bit of fun. And um, also I'll have a few more VR ca uh, games uh, with Project Cars 2 and. Uh, and a few other titles as well, Dirt Rally as well. Okay, so look, thanks very much. Appreciate you all coming. Remember, like and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, I'll see you all again on the Mad Rush Show. See ya. Bye.